Welcome to the PrintyCast Roundtable for August 3rd, 2013. We're a casual weekly show where we talk about what we've been up to and all the various gaming-related stuff over the last week. We're your hosts. I'm Chris. This is Grover. Hello. And Mike. Hello. In the background this week, you'll see more of those Kickstarter projects. Check out the links below if you're curious about any of them or help want to fund them. But first, you'll notice the trailer for Kimco's Destiny Fantasia RPG. Yes, Kimco. I didn't even know they were around anymore, but apparently they've been making a lot of really well-received RPGs for mobile devices for the last couple of years is where they've been. And this one went on sale at Google Play this week, and for a limited time, it is three bucks instead of the usual eight bucks. I don't know when the sale goes off, but if you're looking for what I understand to be a good classic 16-bit RPG on your Android device, this might just do the trick. So, what have we been playing this week, Mike? Well, it's mostly the same as last week. Uh, Borderlands 2, World of Warcraft. I did throw in some Poker Night at the inventory, which is a Telltale Games poker game that you can get on Steam. And really, that's about it. <laughs> no 3DS this week. That's what you get for being a busy bee, I guess. Well, I guess uh-huh. so. It's cut and your war- gaming time in half. And Warcraft is kind of a time sink, even when you're just getting on for a few minutes. A few minutes is usually at least 30. Uh... Yeah, it can be. Um, it's since I've come back to it, I've been having a lot more fun with it because I'm I am playing it with Sydney, so it's not quite the solo boring grind that it it was when I left it. World of Warcraft's actually where you met Sydney, wasn't it? It is. Yeah, it actually is. It was back when Warmaster was actually a pretty difficult achievement to get, and she was going for the insane at the same time. So uh, I was working on Warmaster, so I just started talking to her, and we started doing this stuff together. And she had already completed a difficult segment that I needed help with. She would run over and help me like kill mobs to get their little quest item thing a lot faster. So then we just started talking about other things, and then wow, and we ended up meeting and being like, hey, you know, we get along really well. So That whole online romance stuff can actually work out every now and then. It does work. It does. It does. Every now and then. So about you, Grover? What you been playing? I have been playing a crapload of Civilization V. I am up to the Emperor level. Prince is too easy. I could win almost every single time. And now I'm to another level, and I cannot win at all. At the beginning, there's not much difference. It just seems slightly faster. But later on in the game, it's just like, whoa. You know, they're doing stuff like 50 turns earlier than before. So it's just like, ah, yeah, yeah. And just uh, units out of the blue, it sounds like. Yeah, I just I'm used to some of the cheating they do, so I'm just used to that. If, <laughs> if you don't like playing AI that cheat, don't play Civ. You're going to have a bad time if you don't oh, like that. Really bad time. That's <laughs> a serious staple. Civ 5, you know, honestly, Civ 4, she's a lot more than Civ 5 did. I've seen some things in Civ 4 that blew me away. Like, I would have a, a single unit on an island that was one tile, and the AI would come as a settler out of nowhere and knock my unit off the island and found a city out of nowhere. And that would just, bl- it blew my mind, and it happened more than once, and it's just like, okay, you know, somebody was like, well, it might have been this, it might have been that, and then they, somebody asked the developers, and they're like, yeah, they can do that, they can kick you off the island and found a city, which you can't, so it's just like, you know, some of the stuff, it's understandable cheating, but that's just flat out, we can't do that, but they can cheating. And then Sounds I played legit. some Skyrim. Ooh, still on the Skyrim. I haven't played an hour or so, because I won that $20 Steam thing on one of the Twitch sites, and got the uh, Dragonborn, so I had to get rid of all my mods, and then put them all back because the game would just crash. And unfortunately, yeah, right. the mod I make doesn't work either, and I don't feel like going mess with it. Oh, well. And yeah, that's it. I've just been playing an unbelievable amount of Civilization Five. But you're on that quest for your challenge. To, to beat every Deity single Deity. Uh, victory type on DD. Have fun know, with that. I don't know how you're going to do that. No. <laughs> I don't know either, but we're going to try. That's for damn sure. Monday Listen. for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I'm off. I do whatever I want. And you're still playing it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, you're just not I'm, streaming. I'm, I'm just practicing stuff to see how it goes. And so for mine, uh, Congregate Gaming more this week, which is kind of the usual, I guess, because I always try out the new stuff. So I try to get into Battlecry that combines those war duel games with sort of a card battle system, and it just wasn't working. It's missing some really key concepts. There's some really neat ideas. The customizable army part is just awesome. But there's this huge server glitch where you can accidentally log into other people's accounts. Oops. That's Oops! a little unnerving. Uh, Let's still just log into their account and just, just do everything wrong. Yeah, I just start up the game thinking I'm going to get back to where I was to see if I can make some more money to buy some more card packs so I can get more items and stuff to make my army a little better. And I'm looking at an army that's not mine. And, you know, I have full access. I can spend their money. I can screw with their stuff. That's kind of uncomfortable. Just spam their entire army. Because it takes a while for, you know, people to go through all those steps to build all that back, I'm sure. So it's yeah. kind of a griefer's paradise. 
guys, really. But the main thing for this week is that the Humble Bundle was with Deep Silver. They've got Saints Row 2 and 3, since they're the new owners of that. They got Riven 2 and Sacred 2 on there as well. And if you pay over the average, you also get all of Saints Row the Third's DLC and the Game of the Year version of Dead Island. And if you pay 25 or over, you also get the fairly brand new Dead Island Riptide sequel expansion thing. And despite already owning quite a few of those games on the list, I went in and got it because it was like three and a half bucks or something like that, and I figured that was probably worth it for Riven 2 and Sacred 2 alone. But they're really huge downloads. Uh, I think Sacred 2 is like 15 gigs, so I've been downloading that all week long, and I'm still nowhere near. I think I'm 20%. But then Dagnab at the Weekly Humble Bundle came out, and it was for the 1C games. So Three Kings Bounty games and Men of War series... And I did actually get uh, the first King's Bounty downloaded, so I've been playing that. And I have played the original, well, not the original, because I think it was PC Amiga stuff, but Commodore anyway. But it came out on the Genesis, and both me and my dad put so many hours onto that really broken, irritating game. And here's this pseudo-sequel series, so I know I'm going to be dumping some moments into that, too. And Anyway, I, I spent most of my time on that last night and this morning, so I've probably got about three or four hours into it already. And I also started up Back to the Future to try to get it finished up. I took a break from it because of a puzzle I thought was more annoying than it actually was. It did work the way I thought it did. I looked up game facts and sure enough. So, yeah, that's what I was up to. And uh, I heard EverQuest is getting an EverQuest next, so I guess Sony's back into the trying to get into the fight with Warcraft again. Uh-oh. <laughs> but they're doing a lot wow. of stuff that I'm surprised more haven't been doing, like the extra customization to your character classes and stuff, and, and there was... Uh, I should have took notes. There was some other stuff that just seems like a no-brainer of why they wouldn't have been putting more of this stuff into the, at least updates into other games. But And uh, ESRB got a facelift. Well, the little ESRB labels now look slightly different after all these years. Now, why they're doing that, I have no idea. I don't understand the point. Maybe it's easier visually. I don't know. We'll put a picture up there and you guys can decide for yourselves out there. Mm-hmm. But, uh, like, felt short, but unless anybody else had anything that was really exciting, like your morning, Grover, if you want to really get into that. Yeah, my morning. Uh, no, no. Just my morning. Anything, Mike? Since you brought it up, I'm actually buying the uh, Humble Bundle. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Or both? Uh, well, right now I'm buying the Deep Silver Bundle. Mm. Great deal when you consider how much all that stuff is worth separately. Yeah, yeah, it is. But curse you, Humble Bundle. I thought I was starting to get away because there were several deals in a row that I just wasn't really interested in between the books and the music and stuff like that or in a couple of games like the Serious Sam. I didn't really care about that one too much. So. But here it is back again. No I need escape. to start playing this crap. I have not even installed yep. Alan Wake yet. And that was the first one I bought way back in like May. I haven't oh. installed that either. <laughs> I'll play it eventually, uh, simply for pretty plays, but... After I bought it, actually, a friend offered to give me a code for Alan Wake because he was looking for somebody to play it multiplayer with him. <laughs> I was like, I've already got it, man. I just never installed it. He's like, ooh. <laughs> I didn't even remember it having a multiplayer. Maybe that's something they added with uh, American Nightmare. Possibly. I'm not real sure. You may find out someday when we actually get it installed. Thanks to longplays.org for some of the videos that we use on occasion. It's been a while. We did use a punch out last week, but uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Printycast, and you can contact us via email at printycast at gmail.com. You can find the rest of our links to YouTube and our Twitch channels and all that stuff down below, along with uh, all the video stuff that you've been seeing here for Kickstarter. And yeah, I guess that's it. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.